T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello, everyone, T-Man 978. Yay. Welcome to my chill review for Transformers Siege, Micromasters, Laserbeak, and Ravage. Laserbeak and Ravage pretty much are what you expect. They are accessories that should have just come with Soundwave, but they didn't. But you can call them action figures and little weapons. That's what they're supposed to be. I'll start with Laserbeak because he is the easiest. Laserbeak has a face reminiscent of what he looked like in the first episode of the Transformers. Right there. But his wings were rounded on there. He was more of a like disc shaped thing. One thing disappoints me is they put this block here that's all inclusive and it's supposed to be his weapons. If they would have made this actually look like weapons right now, it just looks like some kind of engine or something. He does have these thrusters on his butt and you can take the Battlemaster accessories and plug them on him. I don't know why that was so hard to do over here wasn't when I tried it earlier. So now he can be jetting around, but he doesn't have a stand for it. Unlike pretty much every other figure in the in the line. But if you if your pieces aren't too messed up, you could put a jet piece right there. But to transform him, you can fold this down, bring these back. Flip this in, bring that in, and now he is a cassette type thing. Take sound wave and you port him in there, whichever direction you want. It's a snug fit, he's not falling out at all. And if you have sound waves chest transformed correctly, it gives you no problems right there. <coughs> He has this five millimeter peg thing right here, and you can port him onto Soundwave. Now, everybody says, I don't know what that is, or uh, uh. You, you can do it if you want to, but I would imagine that this works like some type of shield or some type of amplification type system. Like, whatever, like if Soundwave has some type of sound barrier type thing that could power up sound wave that's what i would imagine this would be in like like just imagine like you could put like a sound force field around sound wave while he's on him like this but since sound wave does have these thrusters right here you can port these back on there again and now it works like a shield gun type situation right there you just have to move the engine block out a little bit so you can get that on there. So, there is Laserbeak. Ravage. Ravage is some type of Cybertronian beast type thingy. He still looks like a cat or dog, if you want to believe that he's a dog. But he's really always supposed to be a jaguar or, or something like that, a panther. He has no tail because he's a Cybertronian type beast. And to be honest with you, both of these, I would, I think the suggested age of Siege is eight and up. I would not get these for anybody that's younger than eight. These arms are not meant to bend further than this and they come off super easy. Like, if you get it for your kid that's eight and they have younger siblings, they're going to break this thing. These things are very tiny. And like I showed you, the pieces come off and they are a monster to manipulate. But he does have this articulation in the hind legs. So I guess it could sit down. But the front legs are kind of more awkward. Oh, no, no. They could come forward right here. Forgot about that. I guess that's to compensate for the fact that you can't bend it at the knee. But the head does this. Transforming these things, or him, is extremely awkward too. That's another reason why I wouldn't suggest it for kids, but swing that up, bring this down like this, 
Now the legs are highly specific. You have to keep it like this, swing them up like this. After you do that, you need to rotate it up like this. Now we can fold this up on itself. And back here, we can bend that forward until it like clamps over a little tiny, tiny slither of a notch right there. Then we can bring this down. He also has the same thing as laser beak where you have this little peg right here. What, what's great with the engineering is this folds over the bottom part of his face or top of his face so that you can pull this out and not worry about pulling the head up. So maybe Ravage, one of Ravage's abilities is to disappear in the shadows. So maybe if Soundwave wears him like this, it will give him the the it gives him the power of invisibility in the shadows and whatnot. He has no like weapon ports that I see. But if you want, I like to have the Decepticon symbols up there. You can port this inside of Soundwave. They do not slide in like smoothly like the G1 guy did or even the masterpiece to be honest but shut that and this is what you're working with you got the triple decepticon symbols and it opens smoothly as you can see because i didn't show it transforming the head you it's best if you push this up to get it started then you can grab the head but push this up Soundwave does have like four little grooves. You're supposed to be able to plug Laserbeak into the arm like that. It is not secure. The first time I did it, it's like, oh, snap, that, that really works. But then after a while, it just completely stopped. So you have that option right there. But if you don't want to bother with that crap, just pull the peg out again. Which, uh, I just cut my daggone nails. You can push it from this way right there. So that's smart that they did that. And you could just peg laser beak onto sound wave like this. So that's cool right there. I had a plan to do a skit with this whole situation right here with laser beak being his only warrior that never fails but my throat i don't know whether i guess it's the season changing or not but my throat is horrible but what i'll do right now because ravage is freaking annoying to transform i'm gonna try to do my best to transform this guy the correct way these are the front legs we need to pull these out you know that the front legs are the front legs because of that peg right there being right there next to it now what we need to do is rotate this down and then rotate this hinge like this and leave it like that you can go ahead and pull the head up because that'll make it make it easier to get to before you bring these arms down now, with this completely all the way up, as far as it can go, or high as it can go, you need to rotate this right here. And then we can get these legs, but barely, they're, they're so hard to get to. Maneuvering these legs are is hard. And that's why I said, um, I don't recommend this for younger or kids, like, at all. Know what I didn't think about? We do have this. No, that those are even too small for these. But here we are. We have like the original Decepticons minus the other two Seekers and Rumble. The original ones from the first episode. Oh yeah, and Reflector. But Reflector's coming. So it is very, very cool that we're pretty much getting G1 all over again. 
and they look like freaking G1. So, yeah. Shockwave looks the most like himself because he never changed from all the seasons that he'd appeared in. But these guys, of course, would have had some Cybertronian alt mode, so they had to be altered a little bit. So maybe in the future, they'll go back to Earth and things will be completely G1 and we'll get some completely G1 Steve Seekers that are almost freaking masterpiece quality. That would be awesome. Soundwave, maybe he'll be a boombox again. More than likely, he'll be a truck or something. But anywho, I like these two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I picked these up from All Time Toys if you don't watch my toy hunts, but I seriously doubt that. And you'll see y'all later. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should.